I'm up. Hi. Um, wow, I've been waiting. Uh, <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. It's, uh, it's time for the little sister to finally pay back her much older, but obviously not more mature, brother after his years of tormenting me. Um, I'm Chris Anderson. Uh, the sister, the sister, Crystal, the sister, and uh, I'm honored to be here right now to talk on behalf of Minnesota and the Lindquist and the Anderson family. Um, but if you look back, you know, 30-ish years in time, no one would have thought that Jeff and I would be talking to each other, let alone me standing up in his wedding. To say that Jeff hated me was a gross understatement. Yeah. To read from his brilliance, um, in the life and times of Jeff Anderson, <laughs> circa 1990, he was a, his early genius. You could tell early on in, as a ninth grader that he was Harvard bound. <laughs> and uh, it states, uh, in 1979, the nightmare began. <laughs> a, a daughter was born to my parents just two days after Christmas. What a present! Exclamation point. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, he's been dripping with sarcasm for years. Um, uh, the warm sentiments continue with uh, my least favorite chore includes taking care of my sister and anything that has to do with her. So uh, that's, that's how we started. We spent the majority of our childhood years with me bugging Jeff and wanting to be near to him. Him wanting nothing to do with me, as the brother is. Him getting mad and usually hurting me. Me crying to mom and dad. Him getting in trouble and me giving him the winning look of the pain in the ass sister. <laughs> the cycle continued for years. Um, I thought maybe when he took me to the Soul Asylum concert in high school that it was a turning point, but I think it was more of a truce. Um, eventually, he left for college. A few years later, I left for college. So there was a good 10 year span of time for us to recover, for him to recover perhaps. Ironically, it took me moving halfway around the world and him moving to Boston for us to become close. And our friendship is now making up for last time with FaceTime chats and Anderson family fun. You're all welcome to join <laughs> um, when he's in Minnesota and frequent trips to Boston. I don't see him often, but when I do, it's always quality time as we share the love of the twins, as, as painful as that might be. Um, all things Asian, good craft beer, volleyball, um, settlers of Catan, sassy comebacks, concerts, uh, competitiveness and procrastination. Uh, I wrote this this morning. His vows were written this morning too. <laughs> so that is enough to give that away. Sorry. <laughs> secretly take credit for these two being together because I was the one that told him to go on OK Cube on OK Cupid, so I guess I'm uh, sort of a big deal. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of their whole story is that she didn't respond to him his email for eight months. That part is, I love it, it's classic. And I remember talking to him um, almost two years ago today on Easter Sunday and he told me about this amazing girl he met at the coffee shop and how he knew almost immediately that she was the one. I had never heard words like this flow out of Jeff Anderson's mouth. So being a skeptical sister I am, I started drilling him. Well, I finally got to meet her, and it turns out he was right, and she is amazing. It has been an honor to get to know Rebecca, and uh, over the past few years, she has such a fun and lovable spirit. She's an incredible cook. Um, an excellent ability to drink, which is necessarily in the Anderson family. That's the Anderson family fun. Um, her willingness to try new things like uh, fishing and heading into the lake and uh, Minnesota State Fair on a food. State Fair food on a stick. Um, her ability to laugh at my dad's jokes. That's something right there. <laughs> and my <laughs> favorite is is uh, she truly makes Jeff a better person. Yeah. I'm so happy for the two of you and honored to be part of this amazing day. Uh, Rebecca, we're so excited to welcome you to the family and Anderson Family Fun, and congratulations to both of you. So let's raise our glasses to the great love story yeah, of Jeff yeah, and Rebecca. Here's love and laughter. <laughs>
and happily ever after. Thank you. 